right as I hit record, somebody goes and goes to the litter box. So you might hear her digging into China at any moment. Um, I'm breaking out the Morley Skinny. This is one of them that Rock sent me. I have the other one here, but I haven't used that one yet. Uh, this is going to be my little South Tube book. So Rock, I'm using it. See, look, it asked for my name. I put my, my name and cell phone number. But then there's a spot where you can put, if this is lost, you can put, um, I, I need, I need, um, I need the autofocus, but I don't like having it on. So I'm going to, I'm going to manual focus this in. Oh, oh, my big fat hand. Apparently, see, as a reward, I could, um, this is lost. I don't know. What should I put there as a reward, people? I want something funny, but I don't know what. Um, so yeah, first page, South Tuber bust. I already have my hotel information written on there and my reservation and confirmation number and my dad's reservation and confirmation number and the hotel address and telephone number. So, uh, yes, this is for the stuff that's positively stuff. And I have one over here that I'm just doing notes in of different restaurants and stuff until I figure out things. Although I did print out my first map of how to get to Athens because I will go to Athens at least one time while I'm in Nashville. I don't know when, but it will happen. So I know how to get from the hotel to Athens, which is the Greek restaurant, which I love. Um, so yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting a little geeked out. I did not do a vlog yesterday because literally all day I was doing paperwork. That's all I did. I just finished. I saved the farms to, to do today. There's only like five of them. Three of them are very difficult and tedious because right now farms are crazy. I think the one farm, Leets, which is our biggest farm that we do, they did about close to $4,000 in toilets last month. Um, but they're everywhere. You know, there's some over here, but the, there's one at the loading dock. There's some at the main camp. There's two at the small camp. There's some out at the berry field, at the melon field. And they're just, they're everywhere because they have so many fields. So that's kind of hard to keep track of, especially when they're moved around a lot. And so, yeah. Um, but that's all done now. Got a stack of stuff to mail out tomorrow. I got a big deposit to make tomorrow. We had like 25 checks. So I got that ready. Now I'm done with my paperwork. Yay. I think altogether it took me, I worked on it eight hours yesterday. And today I worked on it about three. So like 11 hours. And I only did, I only printed out the invoices through um, the middle of the month. So in about a week, I'll finish the other half of there. She goes, Hey, 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 are you done? Don't get it all over the floor. I keep a little broom and um, dustpan in here because she will get litter everywhere. And then she'll walk and you'll get all the across the room. So I sweep luckily it's wooden, flo wooden flo hardwood floor. So it's easy to sweep across the room into a pile and Okay, I think you I think you buried it. I think it's gone. Yeah. It's probably eating some sushi somewhere in Japan by now. Oh, she's getting back in there. Hmm. Cats in their litter boxes. So I wanted to show Rock that I'm using the more let's get there. It's a nice it's a nice size that'll fit nice in my purse and doesn't take up a lot of room and it's not very bulky. It's loverly. Today's Sunday. Uh, tomorrow's the first of August. August first. The it's going so fast. The year's going so fast. Although I am ready for the hot to be over. I'm ready for fall-like weather. I am. Just saying. Dad's waiting for it to cool down later because y'all know what he wants to do. Who who knows? He wants to go mow. I was sitting here doing paperwork and Heidi started having a conniption fit and then grandma come in. Oh, she loves the grandma. She gets so excited when grandma comes. Okay, quit it. I hear it going everywhere.
that got her attention away from the litter box, didn't it? Yes, it did. This one's almost empty, kitty. Yeah, now it is empty. Yep, that's it. That's the end of that one. There. Now I got kitty treats all over the bed. That's the one good thing about kitty treats. It gets their attention. Like, what? Yeah. Do I want to play with poop or eat treats? I think I'll eat treats. That's a good choice, I think. I do need to go through. I have some coupons here i got to go through. Thanks, Miss Trixieism. I just got a few from her. i got to sort through and see what I have. Tomorrow we are going to Martin Supermarket and do a little shopping. i got to go to the bank tomorrow. i got to go to the post office tomorrow. I don't know what else Dad has to do. Yesterday, Dad went over to my cousin's that looks like an hour away. I stayed home because I had a lot to do, but um, I didn't want to go sit out in the heat either. He, they were having a mud bog. Um, they were like combining three birthdays into one, and Dad said there was a couple hundred people there. I hear him. I hear him in the hall. What are you doing? He didn't hear me. He's out there. It's so hot. Our air conditioning is having problems keeping up with um, the with keeping the house cool. We'll have it at 72 and it, it'll get down to like 75, but all you have to do is go outside and come back in and it feels really nice and hot. <laughs> I'm almost done with my second bat box of these. These are addicting. I said things, I'll just chew them and get the flavor and then spit them out. But they make my breath feel fresh and clean. I guess that's all I wanted to say was, hey, and this one did not get any blue dots on it. This is totally white. All the others have blue. I'm OCD. Or ADD. I'm something. I'm crazy. All right. Kitty, are you enjoying the treats? I'm going to have to go sweep up your mess, I'm sure. And uh, you'll probably see me tomorrow evening after we get done running, tell you what I bought, what's going on. I think there's going to be sushi tomorrow because it just sounds good. When Peggy and I were at um, out to eat when I was visiting her, I had my bag with me sitting on the table, and the guy went, sushi on your bag. It's nice. The guy, one of the people who work there. I just took $14 of change out of the purse, and now it feels like there's nothing in there anymore. I put it in a jug over there. I have, like, almost $100. Well, let's say 80 That's almost 100 right? I'm hoping by South, if I have $100 in change, that's just fluff money, you know. All right. There was no purpose. But I wanted to come on and say hi. All that to say hi. Now I'm going to say goodbye.